This video will provide a brief overview of Compliance Forger's Digital Security Program, or DSP for short. The DSP is an enterprise class solution for cybersecurity and privacy documentation that consists of 32 different domains to define a modern digital security program that encompasses both cybersecurity and privacy considerations. Nested within these policies are the control objectives, standards, guidelines, metrics, risks, threats, and maturity target criteria to help govern your security and privacy program. The DSP was developed to meet the needs of growing organizations that either want to avoid being locked into a single framework or it has complex compliance requirements that span multiple laws, regulations, and frameworks. This need led Compliance Forge to develop a solution that follows a best-in-class hybrid framework structure. Essentially, with the DSP, you have the ability to align with multiple control frameworks in an efficient and scalable manner. The DSP leverages the Secure Controls Framework, which is a meta framework that maps to over 100 different cybersecurity and privacy laws, regulations, and frameworks. If you visualize the DSP as a buffet table of cybersecurity and privacy policy standards and controls and metrics, it offers a perspective of being able to pick and choose your requirements. Once you are able to determine the applicable statutory, regulatory, and contractual obligations for your organization, it is straightforward to identify a customized control set that is specific to your unique compliance obligations. This can help avoid extraneous requirements that are not applicable to your organization. The goal is to help you to design, implement, and maintain secure and compliant solutions, where the DSP forms the cornerstone of your security and privacy governance program. When you purchase the DSP, you get an editable cybersecurity documentation in the form of Microsoft Office products, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The DSP has crosswalk mapping from the standards to supported laws, regulations, and frameworks. The DSP addresses the why and what questions in an auditor assessment, since policies and standards form the foundation of your cybersecurity program. As you can see in the example of the DSP on the product page, it is formatted similar to what many organizations use for an HR handbook, a single document that is keyword searchable and is user-friendly. This reduces complexity and redundancy while making it easier for users to find the answers to their questions. The DSP is also formatted so they can be easily imported into popular GRC platforms. From a cost savings perspective, for your internal staff to generate comparable documentation to the DSP, it would take them an estimated 900 internal staff hours, which equates to a cost of approximately $76,000 in staff-related expenses, and incur about 12 to 24 months of development time, where your staff would be diverted from other work. If you hire a consultant to generate equivalent documentation, it would take them an estimated 800 consultant work hours, which equates to a cost of approximately $240,000 and take approximately six to 12 months worth of development time to provide a similar deliverable. When you look at it from the raw numbers perspective, the DSP is approximately 4% of the cost of a consultant and 11% of the cost of trying to generate the documentation in-house. We find a lot of DSP clients are looking for a better way to manage cybersecurity and privacy documentation. Compliance Forge designed the integrated controls management model for how organizations can more efficiently perform governance, risk, and compliance operations. It focuses on a plan, do, check, and act approach to implementing and governing GRC processes to avoid silos that exist in a lot of organizations. This document is available for free on the Compliance Forge website and can help in the implementation of the DSP by providing a phased roadmap approach. As a quick background on Compliance Forge, we are a U.S.-based company that provides high-quality cybersecurity and privacy documentation templates at a fraction of the cost as compared to hiring a consultant or writing it yourself. We've been writing cybersecurity and privacy documentation since 2005, where we keep evolving our product line as new laws, regulations, and frameworks are released. Since we write our documentation to address industry standards and design it to be scalable, our clients range from Fortune 100 clients with tens of thousands of employees down to micro small companies with only a few employees. Our documentation solutions range from policies, standards, and procedures that form the foundation of any security and privacy program to program level concept of operations documents that include risk management, vulnerability patch management, incident response, crisis management, vendor and third party management, as well as privacy and secure engineering. When you look at the costs associated with either hiring an external consultant to write cybersecurity documentation for you, or tasking your internal staff to write it, the cost comparisons paint a clear picture that buying from Compliance Forge is the logical option. Compliance Forge documentation is designed to be hierarchical. This architecture for how we build our cybersecurity and privacy documentation enables it to be comprehensive and scale to address evolving business requirements. 
This hierarchical model applies a tooth to tail approach for documentation, so that links policies to standards, procedures, controls, metrics, and more. We do provide PDF examples of all of our products. You can view examples by scrolling down about one quarter of the way down each product page to the product example section. You can also find examples and other useful information by clicking on the examples page that is on the menu bar near the top of the Compliance Forge website. Please note that these samples provide examples of our documentation that include a complete table of contents to help demonstrate the coverage, formatting, and level of detail provided in the templates. The example content that we share provides the best way for us to demonstrate the coverage and content since we can't share a complete PDF with a product or offer trial versions of our documentation. These examples are from the actual products for sale, so you get to view what the actual product contains and looks like. At Compliance Forge, we know effective cybersecurity is a team effort that involves the participation and support of every user that interacts with your company's data and systems. Given that reality, it is a necessity for your company's requirements to be made available to all users in a format that can be easily understood. Since words have meanings, we feel it is vitally important to provide examples from industry-recognized sources for the proper use of these terms that make up cybersecurity and privacy documentation. The goal is to establish a baseline understanding of what right looks like, since this terminology is routinely abused even among IT, cybersecurity, and privacy professionals. We want to help fix that issue, so that is why we wrote a guide to help explain how cybersecurity documentation is meant to be developed based on authoritative definitions of components that make up this type of documentation, such as policy standards, procedures, guidelines, controls, etc. It is well worth your time to download and read this guide. It is important to look at your cybersecurity and privacy requirements from a who, what, where, when, how, and why perspective. This approach takes a holistic view towards your tactical, operational, and strategic considerations since that matters when building cybersecurity and privacy documentation to avoid gaps in coverage. Cybersecurity is more than just processes, technology, and data, so right-sizing cybersecurity requires an appreciation for your organization's unique mission, its strategy, partnership, and compliance needs. This all trickles down to influence the controls that must be implemented at the tactical level. At the tactical level, defining what right looks like for controls is a blend of compliance and security considerations. Being compliant with the law regulation framework does not necessarily make your organization's systems applications or services secure. On the other side of the coin, being secure does not necessarily mean that you're compliant with your obligations. Therefore, it's important to understand what controls you need to implement to achieve your optimal level of both being secure and compliant. This is where the DSP can help you define what it means to be both secure and compliant, with the idea of the, a minimum compliance criteria and also a set of discretionary security requirements. MCC are the absolute minimum requirements that must be addressed to comply with applicable laws, regulations, and contracts. This can make you compliant. Discretionary security requirements, or DSR, are tied to an organization's risk appetite since those controls go above and beyond minimum compliance criteria. This is where an organization self-identifies additional cybersecurity or data protection controls to address certain industry practices or internal requirements to achieve a greater sense of security. This may be due to findings from an internal audit or risk assessment that finds an area of improvement. This is what will help you make you secure. Blending both MCC and DSR uh, is your ideal mix of controls to be both secure and compliant. This is something that's included within the DSP to help you identify that right control set. We hope this video helped answer your product-related questions. If you have any more detailed questions, we are more than happy to help answer them. Please email us at support at compliancefortune.com or give us a call at 855-205-8437.